Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm just going to be going through and showing you how to use the trace bitmap option in Inkscape and also the break apart option. Um, it's good for taking images from Google or basically any um, basically any image that you want to convert into a vector. Um, so I'm just going to go through and select a file that I already have. Uh, I've got this one saved, but it, it is from Google. Um, so it's just all these stars. It's a good one to show you how to use that break apart option as well. So um, I'll just get them in the picture. Uh, so basically what we want to do is start by going to the path tab and clicking path and then trace bitmap. And you'll see that the option comes up on the side here with the little window. Uh, you can play with the settings there up and down, um, but I generally leave them or just bump them up a little bit. Click apply. And then you can see there that it's actually traced that image. So you can get rid of the old one and just keep this new one. And then, uh, yeah, basically if you wanted to separate them, so you wanted to use one star, maybe this one in the top left corner, you can select the whole thing. You can go up to object and then you can click um, break apart, or is it path, sorry, and click break apart. Um, and then that'll basically break them apart. However, when you do that, it breaks them apart. So uh, all these little ones with all these little stars and dots around them, it actually uh, breaks them all apart as well. So if you wanted that to be one star by itself again, you could just select it all and group it together um, by clicking on the object tab and clicking group. So again, um, when you use that break apart tab, it, it is it is definitely a good, good option for things like this, uh, but it does individually break all those apart. So I'll just zoom in so you can see that. Um, so yeah, again, if you want to have that as one, you would just select the whole star and all its parts and then click on that object tab and click group. Um, and then you've got that whole thing together there. So again, it's a good way to trace a bitmap um, and um, also use that break apart function. So it's a pretty handy thing to have in, in Inkscape. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching the video. And if you found it helpful, give it a like and maybe consider s subscribing to the channel so that you can see any future videos that I post. Thanks, guys.